The most compassionate, the most merciful, Allah in Holy Quran states God is very accurate in all affairs, is accurate both in giving blessings and giving punishments. One of the sublime name of Allah is Latif. One of the meaning of Latif is accurate. The Holy Verse I read says, Allah sees the good deeds even if it is a size in an atom. And also Allah sees the bad deeds even if it is a size and an atom. But maybe the term atom did not exist in Arabic terminology before Quran revelation. For atom does not weigh much. Imagine a dark room. If we shed a light in that room, we see thousands of small things flowing in the air without the help of wind. Millions of them might not even weigh one gram. They do not weigh. They might take a little space. They exist for we see them. We cannot see them in a normal situation. Wherever you go, you cannot see them, especially when there is a light. There might be millions of them here. But when there is a beam of light coming from a hole, you might see them in the beam. They do not weigh at all. Quran did not say as much as an atom. Quran put it out more accurately. It is as much as an atom weighs. It's a loss that if someone does good deeds as much as an atom weighs. As you know, an atom does not weigh much. Quran talked about the weight of an atom. If someone does a good deed even as much as an atom weighs, he sees its positive consequences. And if someone does an evil deed, even as much as an atom weighs, he sees its negative consequences. The story of Sa'd ibn Ma'ad has been stated in traditions. He was one of the good companions of Prophet, peace be upon him. And he passed away in the time of Prophet. Prophet had two types of companions, the good ones and the hypocrites. Allah revealed the verse called the hypocrites. Allah revealed the surah called the hypocrites. Sa'd was not among the hypocrites. He was among the good companions of the Prophet. He passed away. Prophet, as traditions have stated, respected him much in his burial ceremony, as he did not respect anyone like him. He was an exceptional. It has been stated in traditions that Prophet had no gown as if one of his deers passed away. And it was customary and recommended not to wear gown for those who have lost their deers. Prophet, as traditions of his data, walked on his fingers while he was passing Sa'd's dead body. Some asked Prophet, why do you walk like this? For there are many angels around him, he said. So we can conclude that Sa'd was a great man. We cannot feel the presence of angels, for they have no body. But Prophet could feel them all. Prophet wanted to show that angels were real, and he wanted to show he walked like that due to the large crowd of angels. And in the time of praying, Prophet Muhammad prayed over his body himself. Many companions died in the time of Prophet and even alongside Prophet in the war. But Prophet did not pray for them when they died. And he ordered someone else to pray for them. But he himself prayed for Sa'd. And in the time of Sa'd's burial, Prophet did something unique in history. Prophet himself went down into the grave. He took Sa'd's body. He himself put Sa'd's face on the ground. Then he put a mud-made stone on the dead body. 
so that soil does not cover his body. Prophet himself took those mud made stones in the grave and put them on Sad's body. There are many traditions regarding this issue. Prophet made the speech in the grave as well. Then he went out of the grave, he filled the grave. Sad's mother was alive at that time. And she said, good for you, Sad, you are now a heaven dweller. Prophet told Sad's mother, how would you know that he would be a heaven dweller? Grave just pressed his body. Prophet did not have to go into the grave himself, but Prophet made an exception for Sad. When Prophet came back, he was sad over Sad's death. And nobody talked to Prophet that time. After a while, they told Prophet, you treated Sad in a way that you did not treat anyone like this. And then you said, grave pressed him? How is that possible? Why such a thing happened? Did Sad do something wrong? Then Prophet said, he was a little bad-tempered in the house. He didn't used to be bad-tempered. Sometimes someone is always bad-tempered, but a good-tempered person might be sensitive over some issues, and he might get bad-tempered. Prophet said, sometimes. Sad, who was really good, must suffer the consequences for the time he lost his temper. It means that he wronged his family. Sometimes we do things that God has forbidden, Sometimes we don't obey what Allah ordered us. The Holy Quran said, God promised the oppressed ones to take revenge from those who wronged them. He does not forgive the one who wronged others. And Sad did not have any right to lose his temper in front of his family. And he must be punished for the wrong he did. We know nothing about the pressure of the grave. We must know that Allah is accurate in both sides both in doing good and bad. We must do good deeds and we must avoid bad and evil deeds, even to a small portion. For example, imagine someone who says hello to ten people and saying hello is blessed by Allah. He might say hello to his family, to his father, to his siblings, to his friends. The blessings are not equal. If he smiles as well, he will be blessed twice. He might look at him nicely. He will be blessed twice. He might have treated him well, and God blesses them, even if they are as the size an atom. And we must be careful about the unexpected consequences. Quran ordered us to be careful about what we do. God sees all the small deeds, even if it is as small as an atom. It is also true about the evil deeds. May God save everyone from ignorance. May God bless Muhammad and his descendants.